either win or you lose, and uh, we realize that. But where we are with our program, um, we want to win. Um, we want to get better, and, and the guys are getting better. The effort today, I thought the guys just played hard from start to finish. You know, offensively, we hadn't been able to do an awful lot lately, but um, I, I thought first offensive line did a good job. That defense we played, uh, I think leading the league in sacks, and I don't think we gave up one. I thought Damon Pierce ran hard. Um, and our receivers, you know, we were down on our top two receivers today, but Chris Moore really stepped up. Amari Rogers really stepped up. So you like what uh, those guys were able to do. And quarterback-wise, um, you know, we, again, we, we made a change. We were looking for a spark. I thought Davis did some good things, uh, passing the football, made some good throws today and made good decisions today, just like the things he did. And the combination with uh, Jeff Driscoll, um, you know, early in the week, we thought that we could, you know, we decided to, you know, to go with this plan uh, to use Jeff. And um, I thought he did some good things too. Realize at the end, we had an opportunity you know, first and goal inside the five, needed to cast that in uh, for a touchdown. And defensively, whenever you can take the ball away, um, you know, it's a big thing. Also down a couple, you know, when Steve Nelson went down, we're down a couple of our, you know, starting cornerbacks. But Traymon Smith, outstanding job. Des King has done an outstanding job. Those guys just keep next man up mentality. And they play well. Malik Collins, uh, Jalen Petrie. You know, we gave ourselves a chance, and um, if we continue to do things like that in special teams, you know, that fumble recovery by uh, Blake Cashman, Emmy hitting, you know, hitting the field goals. A lot of positive things, you know, for us to, to build on. We understand it's late in the year on building on something, but where we are, uh, that is a big thing. We had a few injuries, a few guys that went out of the game early but came back in like Kenyon Green. But their late Damon Pierce with that angle injury couldn't go anymore. Uh, so that hurt us a little bit. And I mentioned Steve Nelson earlier. Take your question. In the final red zone opportunity, not having Damien, how much does that affect things to, to not have your best uh, guy? It, it affects it quite a bit. You know, well, we first and goal on the inside the five, uh, the plan would have been a little bit different. But uh, nobody want to hear about injuries. We've had quite a few. If Damon would have been healthy and ready to go, of course, he would have been in there then. Lovey, that, that final decision on, on that run, what happened there with, uh, with Jeff? Did, did he read it wrong? Yeah, we, just didn't it? Execute, we just didn't execute the way we need to. How, how rough was that for you guys to get that, that close? Tough. And not be able to get points there? Tough. You know, the guys played their butts off all day. So, you know, games like that, you know, Again, sometimes you feel like, hey, do we deserve to win? Yeah, I thought we played throughout all three phases. Where we are in our season, the guys just keep showing up to play against um, that way against the team. As I told Mike, I mean, they have just as good a chance to win it all as anyone. So um, that part is good, but we have a loss still. We realize that. Can you talk about the play of um, Jalen Petrie today? I think we've been saying the same thing about him lately. We made the move. Uh, with him back in the middle of the field and paying dividends. Uh, he's a good player. That seemed like it's his natural position. He was active, tackling, playing the ball, like all of the guys were today. They continually pin them back up in their own five, you know, special teams and defense. What did you see from your defense today to get them in that situation? Well, first, as, as you said, it's about, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, I mentioned Amy and how he kicked. Uh, but, you know, we did also did a good job, of course, uh, punting, you know, Cam, punting the football down there. And once it, it's about special teams pinning back there, and from there, the defense, I mean, your options are three and out. Yeah, take the ball away, three and out, or safety. And our guys kind of, we've been in that position a few times. That's so what I say. Most of the things were kind of going the way we wanted them to right up until the end of the game. That last possession they had, it looked like Dak had to make some really tight throws. What was y'all's plan for him um, on that last drive? Well, we, you know, we were kind of doing what we normally do. We mix it up. You know, we play all the different coverages, gave him as many looks as we could. 
you know, losing our corners kind of took us out of, you know, some of our blitzes with the man. But Dak Prescott's one of the best quarterbacks in our game. And um, he's going to hit some. And I, I think they kind of showed a little bit of the champion in them. Uh, had to get a had to get a drive, you know, there at the end. And unfortunately for us, I mean, they were able to. What kind of went into going with Jeff and Davis and how much your perspective is smart that game? You know, where we are, you know, we haven't gotten a whole lot of uh, production offensively. And you, you look at your roster, Jeff has been there. And really, as we go back and look at it a little bit, um, he, had, we had, you know, he did some good things in the preseason early on. That plan kind of got us out of it a little bit when we couldn't elevate him and some things like that. But he's always been there. And as you see, I mean, uh, we, we most productive day we've had offensively. I know what the point said, but felt like we could move the ball and mix in, you know, combination of the two. What was the decision over there at the end to go for the touchdown on the third down at the end of the game? Was it a struggle at all, I guess, in the decision of where you're going that way the whole time? No, no struggle. No, no destru- struggle on the decision at all. We were up at three. Uh, we were going to go for the touchdown or, or lead him in, in a situation where, you know, they're going for three to tie it, and hopefully, we, you know, we wouldn't allow them to score a touchdown. So, no decision to make that 100 out of 100 times. We didn't execute what we needed to at the end. You mentioned earlier this week you wanted to get the team to have a better taste in their mouth towards the end of the year. What was the locker room like just then? How are, how are people processing this one? First off, as I said, it's about win. You either win or you lose. We understand that. But it is more than that, where we are. And... I think each week you look at how did I play? Did I give our, our team a chance to win? I think most of the guys in there are going to say, yeah, I, I play. I mean, I, it's 60 minutes the ball. And unfortunately, came right down until the last minute of the game. So, yeah, there's a different feeling. Uh, I thought we got better today. I saw progress for sure. You talked about having the two receivers missing. Was Chris Moore then moved more into the, the game plan for this game? Absolutely. He's been out there at receiver, so he's been in the mix. But, you know, Brandon Cooks is out. Nico Collins couldn't go. Next guy up. And um, that's what they did. We had a similar situation against Philly this past, this year. And um, they stepped up again then, too. It seemed like it's that way. I mentioned our corners. You know, it's tough when you one and two corners down. But those guys not really looking for that, that excuse. It's just the next guy is really excited about the opportunity. From a strategy standpoint, if you're a defensive coach, how challenging would that be if you don't know which quarterbacks are going to be going in from series to series? Well, I think it can be challenging because, uh, you know, we've, you know, I'm talking about us, we've gone through some different things on, you know, me letting you know exactly who the quarterback's going to be on, you know, 30 minutes after the game and some of those things, you know, but um, that doesn't help us. What helps us is to wait until the end, all right? and use the best options that we possibly have and uh, let them go. And again, I thought offensive coaches getting a game plan in and um, I like the way we look there at the end. Now we got to finish out, we got to, got to figure out how to finish the game. Uh, you know, pass rushing at the end there, forcing that fumble. What did you see from him in that? Uh, the defensive line in the hole getting attacked. You know, some of, you know, we talk about Petrie kind of changed the position and saw the progress that he's made. Same thing with Oboe. Guy plays hard. I thought our defensive line did, you know, did a good job. I know when, you know, most of the, the position groups I've talked about, I say they did a good job and we still end up with a, with a loss, but I like that. He can rush from outside. He gives you everything that he has like the rest of the guy. When, when Pierce went out, it looked like, you know, you guys were talking with him, at least with the trainers and such. Towards the end, was there any conversations from him, like trying to get back in? I mean, how, yeah. do, how do you process that? On the, no, it's just it's pretty simple. I mean, a guy's injured. Medical staff, can he go? Yes or no? Earlier, you know, when he came out, it was yes, we think he can go. You know, you get a sprained ankle, ankle, you know, a lot of times you think you can. Then you get out there and you see that you just can't push off of the ankle and you're hurting the team. That's the situation we're in there at the end. Couldn't go. And we'll never play a player if he can't, you know, of course, protect himself and feel like he can do his best. Uh, at the end, uh... I, I didn't see the replay, but Chris Moore, got, I guess they called him short of the goal line. Did y'all consider challenging that? Uh, or did it you know, if uh, yes on all of them. 
Uh, if um, and if it's close, we're looking at we have people upstairs looking at every different look. And a lot of them, I, I think one of the ones there today uh, where the change possessions were, you know, even though I'm not challenging it. Yes. Lovey, New York. We've seen it. This is what it is. If there is. If we don't know for sure. We'll challenge if there if we're not challenged something that's pretty close. There's a good reason that we're not. What are the chances that you'll continue running the two quarterback system uh, as the season progresses? DJ, come on, man. Come, come on, man. All right. All right, this is what we're going to do. You probably know the answer, right? You can, you can ask it and you can answer it. We're, we're just, it's, but it, it's less than, it's about 30 minutes after the game. Uh, if y'all expect me to give these kind of answers right now, we're going to evaluate it. We like what we're able to do with it today. We'll keep, we'll see what gives us the best option. To, uh, to beat, to give us a chance to beat Kansas City, another team that has a chance to win it all. We're excited about coming back home and playing.